Hey, it's Magenta from Supply Frames Design Lab, and we're here on Caltech's campus to check out their prototyping lab with Bruce Dominguez. Magenta, it's great to see you. How's it going? Good, good, good. So, Excited to be here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Caltech's uh, Jim Hall Design Rapid Prototyping and Thanks. Design Lab. It looks amazing. There's an undergraduate and a graduate program uh, at the school, and uh, we kind of cater to two masters. So the undergraduate program, they have a set curriculum of courses where uh, they take flagship classes where they learn about certain things about mechanical engineering, robotics, and some of them have them develop uh, projects like a robot competition or a transmission uh, a project. And some students come in here having never used a shop before, right? Right, exactly. And some come in with prior experience? Exactly. Right. And the other end is the graduate students who are doing real-world research on a problem that they were trying to solve. So they'll have some kind of background and maybe actually some already uh, uh, machining and CNC experience. Uh, it's a machine shop. It has a lot of regular shop tools, so you'll see uh, band saws. We do have little mini drill presses and uh, tapping stations, uh, a little area where you can pick up some scrap material. What's the difference between the two lathes over here? This one has uh, a three-jaw chuck on it that's adjustable. Okay. You can make it fit larger diameter mm -hmm. items. And this style is for collets, where you okay, can gotcha. put in specific size diameter rods uh, to hold on to them a little bit more accurately. Here's our uh, water jet setup. The water it's jet. It's a uh, Flow Mach 2. And uh, I mean, it look, works just like a laser cutter. Uh, you just create your file in some kind of vector program. What's the maximum thickness of material the water jet can go through? Let's see. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. So, That's amazing. <laughs> right. And but do you get any, there's no sort of like chamfering or anything that happens? Or? Yeah, okay. can, there can be a pretty wicked curve. Can I try picking it up? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> so we're, here we have uh, some more elements to our shop here. We have our traditional our emails. And uh, what we have associated with them are these carts where you can come in, check out, and you have some of the basic tools, end mills, uh, parallels, and chucks. Can you go into a little bit more detail with the manual mills? All right, so, uh, I mean, the basic premise is uh, you've got your stock material. You also have a drawing of your part so you know what dimensions you'll be cutting your, your file or your uh, part to. And we'll go ahead and we'll just take off the top surfaces right here. Pre insert my collet. And let's put it on the stop right there. Wow, it's so quiet. Yeah. I was not expecting that. It seems just so much more accessible than the Tormach seems sometimes, you right? know? Right, <laughs> when you just need to... Uh, it's the same thing like when people want to laser cut or CNC something that you're like, you could really just do that on the table saw in a minute, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be way less set up, and <laughs> but it's the intimidation factor, I think, sometimes that keeps people away the, from the simpler option. Uh. <laughs> I do a little bit of cleanup, but let's yeah. let's move on. Cool, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, just a few drill presses drill here. Presses. <laughs> At any rate, uh, we just have a Haas tool room mill, uh, a Fedal, uh, VMC, and uh, we have a, a CNC uh, lathe here that also, okay. you know, it's got an enclosure. You can add the coolant to it. Uh, there's a class going on right now where they're given an obstacle course. They, develop their robots and apparatus to be able to navigate it. Uh, sometimes there's an element where you have to pick up a weight or pass a baseball. This one, it's kind of like a tank theme and they're, they're, they're propelling these little Nerf foam balls. Uh, you can see some of them working on it as we go into here. And so in the back here, we also have a, a dedicated working space for the students to come in 
and uh, develop their projects. They are split up into four person teams. Uh, there's about six teams for this particular class and they're given a, a little bench space. And this area is like all access, I mean not all access, but like 24 hour, yeah. And so we, we can close the shop, but this room will still be open. So yeah, everyone's still figuring out and making sure things work. And John, uh, so could you tell us a little bit about your history with Caltech, how long you've been working here, and how many of these competitions well, you've been to? I've been here 24 years, and when we first had our competitions, it actually tethered robots where we gave them a bag of junk and the actual challenge to go at it, but the, they used a joystick, very simple and everything, and now we've gone up to full radio controls, um, Arduinos, raspberries, everything else. Um, much more complex than what they ever used to be. Sometimes it's the simplest one that actually works out the best. So. Is the robotics competition one of your favorite parts about the position at the lab, or what other projects do you get to well, really play a big enjoy, role in? Um, getting the students to actually work and be able to actually manufacture something on the machines. Because I come from an aerospace background, and where I was actually making things, you know, NC programming and everything. And to see them actually be able to take their SolidWorks program and maybe 3D print something, but then make it out of metal with an actual machine. So it would be an actual part, you know, something that would actually work, say, in a jet aircraft or an automobile and everything. Thanks so much for talking with us, John. It was great to hear some more insights about the history of this competition and what's exciting about today. So we'll get back to watching the uh, battle and... We're into the finals. Yeah, yeah into the finals. <laughs> yeah. This is Thank <laughs> you.